Alright guys, so today we are doing another decluttering video. You guys really seem to enjoy my last one with foundations, powders, and concealers. So today we're going to be doing blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I have them all in one drawer in here. This is what it's looking like. Look at this. Look how... Oh my gosh, this is crazy. That's how packed it is that my other drawers are like opening, they're getting stuck. And it's just, it's a hot mess. So I was getting a lot of questions in my last video about where this dresser piece is from right here. I actually got this two years ago at a yard sale and it's been holding up pretty good. It was like 15 bucks right down the street from my house. So that is where that is from. But I'm gonna go through and dump everything on the floor just because a lot of you guys wanted to see like the big pile of everything in my last video. So I'm gonna do that now. And please keep in mind, like I mentioned, that I do donate things and give them away and I just toss things that I feel like really just are not cute are expired and I just things that I feel like aren't even worth giving so hope you guys enjoy and let's get started <laughs> All right, so this is my pile of blushes, bronzers, highlighters. I do have a whole nother section on my vanity of more blushes, bronzers, and highlighters, but I'm gonna go through that on a different day. Today, this is all about this section of my drawer piece that I have here. So let's just go ahead and dig into it. So I'm gonna try my best and really just run through these things and let you guys know what I'm keeping and what I'm not. So let's start with this little guy here. So Milani baked blushes are absolutely amazing. I'm actually gonna keep this blush because the baked blushes are one of the best from the drugstore. So this one I'm definitely keeping and this one is just in the shade Dulce Pink. This Pro Fusion blush palette is really, really nice. I actually got this from TJ Maxx. I did a video a couple months back testing out TJ Maxx makeup and this is really, really great quality. I paid like $4 for this, but I really, really like it. I feel like I could use this in like really affordable makeup tutorials. So this I'm keeping. This is the Kevin Aquan new contour kit. I really like the colors in this. You get some eyeshadows in here as well. I just honestly haven't played with this yet just because it's been sitting in my drawer, but I'm gonna move this into my vanity because I do wanna use this, so I'm gonna end up keeping this. This contour and blush six color palette from BH Cosmetics is actually really nice. Honestly, I've used it a couple of times, but I just don't reach for it on a daily. I have other palettes that I prefer. The color scheme in here isn't my favorite. It's not awful, but it's also not my favorite, like I said. So I'm I'm probably just gonna give this away to friends, family, just so they can get more use out of it than I will. This Lottie London Shimmer Squad palette, honestly, not a fan of this at all. I just showed this in a one brand tutorial from them. You can get this brand at Ulta. I personally just don't like the way these blend. I feel like layering them, they're just not even that pigmented. They're a little chalky. So I'm probably just gonna give this away. This Maybelline Master Bronze palette, I honestly really don't like this. The colors barely show up in here. The highlighter is decently pigmented, but overall, I feel like the palette isn't worth just one highlighter so I'm gonna give this away or I'm gonna be using it in like a products I regret buying video makeup tutorial but I don't like this. Okay, I honestly forgot about this Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. It is so pretty and like the packaging is absolutely stunning. I just honestly forgot about it. I am gonna keep this because it's really pretty. I think it's a just nice go-to palette. You have your blush, bronzer, highlight, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this in the packaging. I die for it. This BH Cosmetics and Ashley Tisdale Illuminator is honestly not even worth giving away. It is not even pigmented. It's just, it's not cute. This Wet n Wild bronzer is technically what it's called. I really don't know whose face this is bronzing, but a lot of people use this underneath their eyes to set. I personally have used it in the past as a really natural highlighter. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep this. It could be really good for my natural, no makeup, makeup days, maybe for my internship, but this is pretty. It's just not something I go to a lot, but I'm gonna move it to my vanity and see if I use it more. If not, I will just end up giving it away, but it is a nice natural highlighter. These two Maybelline palettes, I absolutely, absolutely, I absolutely love. They're really pigmented, they're great quality, and I do like palettes like this for makeup tutorials, especially drugstore ones, so I'm gonna be keeping these. This Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the shade Spicy and Sweet is so good. These are so pigmented. I absolutely love Makeup Revolution blushes. I think they're really great quality, so this I'm definitely keeping. This Kylie Cosmetics blush in the shade, what is this? X-rated is honestly so disappointing. It's like not even pigmented on your face. I'm probably gonna keep this for a disappointing 
makeup products video or something, but this is awful. Oh my gosh, I remember this Hard Candy Fox in a Box bronzer and blush duo. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna toss this. This is so old. I've had this probably for like five years, so this is just going in the trash. This NYX Tango bronzer is awful. Don't like this. I don't even know if it's worth giving away. To be honest, it's barely pigmented. I don't really like the way it looks on my face like the little pigment that I do get, so this I'm probably just gonna toss. It's so upsetting to me that NYC actually got discontinued, but this is the Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder. I'm gonna probably just toss this. It's super old, I've had it for years, it's probably not even good anymore, so I'm not gonna risk it. This Hard Candy 3 Times a Charm highlighter is really pretty, I just don't reach for it a lot. I have other highlighters that I prefer that I think are a little bit better. This used to be one of my favorites, and it is really, really pretty. They just don't even sell it anymore. I feel like there's just no point to even use this on my channel anymore in tutorials, because you can't even get it anymore so I'm just gonna give this away. This is another hard candy blush in the shade baby doll. It's literally a baby doll pink. I'm gonna just give this away. I used to use this all the time but now I honestly prefer orange tone blushes or more neutral tone whereas this is like a really intense baby pink and I just don't reach for it anymore. The NYX Sweet Cheeks palette is absolutely amazing. Keeping this. This BH Cosmetics 10 color blush palette is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure a subscriber sent this to me and I really love it so this I'm keeping because of the pinky orangey tone blushes. I'm obsessed with them. Ah, NARS Laguna. Seriously, this is like one of my favorite, all-time favorite, high-end bronzers. One of my first purchases. I just love this bronzer. It's one of my go-tos. It will always be one of my number ones. So, keeping. I have a ton of these e.l.f. golden bronzers. I used to use this all the time. It used to be one of my favorites. It's just not something that I reach for anymore, so I'm just going to give these away. They are really pretty, but they're super natural. This Becca highlighter in Prismatic Amethyst is just really not my cup of tea. The highlighter's a little too chalky and ashy on my face, personally. I personally just don't really like this, so I'm gonna give this away. Next up, we have Becca's Moonstone. I was really disappointed in this highlighter. I love Opal and Champagne Pop and pretty much almost all Becca face products, but this was a no-go for me. It was a little too ashy and it just... It just was not for me, so I'm gonna give this away, or you guys will see it in a disappointing makeup tutorial video. I used to be obsessed with these last year, the L'Oreal Glam Bronzers. I don't know why they stopped selling these. These were actually really good, but I'm gonna just give it away. I feel like there's no point of using it, because if I mention it, you guys can't go out and get it, because it was limited edition, so I'm gonna just give this away. The Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette really isn't my favorite. I think the single Wet n Wild highlighters are way better than this. This is a little too natural, in my opinion. You could build it up, but it's just not something that I go to, so also gonna give this away. Ofra Illuminating Blush Stripes are gorgeous. I love Ofra highlighters. They are definitely one of the best ones out there. They're so buttery and creamy, and this I'm definitely keeping because it is stunning, and you guys, these are like the most beaming highlighters out there. One of the best. Speaking of highlighter strips, I love the Makeup Revolution ones. These are so pretty and bronzy. I think if you have a darker skin tone or you're a little bit tanner, these would be stunning on you, and they're so affordable. This is the MAC highlighter in the shade Superb. This was actually limited edition. I got this years ago for like a holiday collection or something that they had so I'm just gonna give this away because again I don't really like using things that you can't get anymore on my channel because like that's what's the point I mean that's not really helpful so I'm just gonna give this away. This Ofra blush in the shade Charm is really cute, very pretty natural color. I just don't use it, so I'm just gonna give it away. I love their highlighters, but the blush, eh, it's not my favorite. Lorac highlighter in the shade Daylight. You guys, these are amazing. If you don't own Lorac highlighters, you're seriously missing out. These are so buttery and creamy, like, yeah, amazing. Sweat and Wild contour stick, didn't like it, throwing it out. It's actually broken, like, yeah, no. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, so gorgeous, you guys. I think this is beautiful if you're older, if you have a lot of texture, if you want something really natural. It's not gonna emphasize pores or imperfections. Oh, it's such a great highlighter. Even if you're a bride and you're looking for a really natural highlight, I definitely recommend this. So amazing. This Koki Powder Contour Palette is my love. I think it's a great alternative to the Kat Von D Shade Light. I will say it's not as blendable or like as creamy as the Kat Von D, but for the price, I do think it's a great alternative if you're on a budget. It does blend really well, but the Kat Von D one, you know, is better. You get what you pay for, but this is still a really great dupe, so I love this. By the way, you can get this brand at Walmart. Another Koki product, this is the Blush Up Blush Palette. I am keeping this. It's a really pretty, natural, everyday palette. I always like to have a ton of different palettes in my collection like this, just so I can use them in affordable makeup tutorials and whatnot, so this is really nice. Two e.l.f. bronzer palettes I'm keeping. I think these are awesome for the price. They're really great quality, super easy to blend. 
love them. Another Ofra product, this is the 3G, 3G, 3D Egyptian Clay Bronzer. This is stunning, you guys. The highlighter in here is amazing, so I'm definitely keeping this. These are two highlighters from the Wet n Wild Fergie collection. I love them. These are like two of my favorites. I just honestly don't reach for them on a daily. I have so many things that I love more so that I reach for more so than these. Um, I mean, they're beautiful, but I'd rather just give them away because I personally just don't use them anymore. The L'Oreal Infallible Paints Blush Palette wasn't my favorite favorite. It was a little powdery, so I'm just gonna give this away. This blush palette I actually got from Amazon years ago. I don't even know if it's still good. Um, it's really pretty. It was super affordable. It doesn't even have a brand on it. That's how cheap it was. I paid like six bucks for it. Honestly, I might just toss it because it's really old, and I don't want to risk anything on me or my family or my friends' faces, so I'm just gonna probably toss it. Lorac Pro Contour Palette is one of my all-time favorite contour kits. It's a really nice, cool tone palette. I love it. You can see I've made a dent in it. Definitely keeping this. I don't hear too many people talking about this brand. It's actually really good. You can get it at like five below online. I love City Color Cosmetics and this is a really nice little contour set. So I'm definitely going to keep this because I love the bronzers in here. Wet n Wild blushes are so amazing. They have new packaging by now. This is the old packaging, but I'm going to keep these because they're just my loves. Wet n Wild and Milani are my two favorite single blush formulas at the drugstore. Can't forget Essence blushes. They're also really, really good, but these colors, I just personally don't use them all that often anymore because I have so many other blushes. So I'm just gonna give these away. We have another wet and wild shimmer reflect highlighter I'm gonna give this away because literally it's brand new I haven't even used it and like I said, I just don't reach for these as often as other ones. So Giving them away. Wet n Wild Contour Palette is my love. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. I go hard on this thing. This is really, really great. One of my favorites, for sure. All of my Milani baked blushes I'm definitely keeping. Like I said, one of my favorite single blush formulas is Milani, and the baked ones are so much better than the flower ones, in my opinion, that they have, but love these, keeping these. These flower blushes are the ones I was just talking about. They're pigmented, they're pretty, they're a little bit more natural than the baked ones. I like them, I just don't reach for them, so I'm just gonna give them away. This Physicians Formula Argan Wear Blush in the shade Natural is really pretty, but the smell is horrendous. It's so strong, I can't even stand it, so I'm just gonna give it away and maybe even toss it because the smell is like Ugh, unbearable. Elf baked highlighters are really, really good. At first I didn't like them, but once you scrape off the top with like your nail or a pair of tweezers or just anything, they become such a beaming, intense highlighter for such an affordable price. So I'm gonna keep these for sure. The Essence Satin Touch blushes are, I think in my opinion, a little bit better than the Silky Touch ones. So I'm gonna keep this shade because it's so gorgeous. Let me see, it's in the shade Satin Love and it's such a beautiful, like just natural color. It looks way better on the cheeks than in the pan, so I'm keeping this. Elf blush palettes are everything. The light one is right here and then the dark one is on the left and these are so pigmented, really great quality so I'm gonna keep these for sure. Also can we just talk about Elf's packaging? Like it's so classy for like such a cheap price. We have another little Elf illuminating palette. I'm giving this away. I personally don't really use it, don't really like it. It's not that pigmented. It's a little chalky so going bye bye. Okay, so we have two little elf blush and blunt bra. So we have two elf blush and bronzer duos. The one on the left is shimmery, the one on the right is matte. The one on the right is called Fiji matte, the one on the left is called Saint Lucia. I'm just going to keep the matte one right here because the one here I don't really reach for it that much. It's pretty. I just prefer matte shades. So I'm just going to Give this one away and keep this one. Benefit Hula, I'm definitely keeping. This is one of my favorite, all-time favorite bronzers for contouring. It's just so good. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just perfect, especially if you have, like, my skin tone. If you're a little bit lighter, I think it's just an overall really great bronzer. So this I'm keeping. Oh, almost done! MAC blushes, I mean, I used to like them. I used to be obsessed with them. But honestly, I think there's better blushes at the drugstore, in my opinion. And other high-end brands in general have better blushes than MAC. I'm just going to give these away because you can see I used to use them a lot when I thought MAC was, like, the only brand out there that was, like, high-end and that was good. But now I'm just not the biggest fan of MAC blushes anymore, so... Somebody else can get some use out of these. A little tiny Tarte blush in the shade Birthday Suit. I got this as a free gift. I'm going to keep this. I love Tarte blushes. I think they're really good. This Sephora Collection blush is pretty. I believe it's in the shade Peach Fusion. It's nice. I just don't reach for it anymore, so I'm just going to give it away. I have a Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss Highlighter. I honestly hauled this a few months ago, and I forgot about it, so I'm going to use it, and I'll keep you posted on this. I have not played with it. I've only swatched it. These single elf blushes really were not my favorite. Honestly, I don't even know what I was thinking 
getting the shade. It's way too bright for me. I don't even, I, I don't know. I'm gonna give these away because I just personally don't use them. The hot pink is called Pink Passion and then the mauve tone one right here is called Mellow Mauve. This Wet n Wild Unicorn Glow Highlighter, I haven't even played with it, so I guess I'll keep it. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna give it away because honestly, am I really gonna use this? This Maybelline Master Fairy Highlight isn't awful. It's not my favorite. It's not amazing. And I don't recommend you guys to go out and buy it. Like, it's not that good. So I'm probably just going to give it away. I mean, it works, but the color scheme really isn't like something that I would go to on a daily. Milani Baked Bronzer, so good. Such a pretty orange bronzer. If you don't like orange bronzers, you're obviously not going to like this, but I love it, especially in the summer. It's a really nice bronzer to like warm up your cheeks and just make you look really glowy. I am so upset that NYC is like no longer sold. The NYC Sunny Bronzer was one of my all-time favorite bronzers. It was like two or three dollars and this is like the perfect like bronzer ever. One of my favorites. Like this reminds me so much of Benefits Hula so it's really sad that they don't sell it. I wish I would have stocked up. I wish I knew that they were even being discontinued. But anyways, I love this bronzer. I'm going to keep it just because I won't be able to get it anymore. So I'll just keep it because I love it so much. This Milani Bronzer XL is awful. This is like not even pigmented. I'm gonna just throw this out because honestly, it's not even worth giving to anybody because you can't even see it. By the way, this is in the shade Radiant Tan number 03. So it's one of the darkest shades. Another NYC bronzer. This is the Sun and Bronze bronzing powder in the shade Montauk Bronze. I used to love this, but I'm just going to give this away because I prefer to just have my sunny bronzer instead of this. Another Wet n Wild Ombre blush. I really haven't even used this. You can see I still have the label on it. I'm not a huge fan of purple blushes like this, so I'm just going to give this away. I have an Ofra highlighter. This one's in the shade Blissful. Definitely keeping this. I honestly forgot about this color. It is so gorgeous. And really cool. It's actually now sold out Ulta. They used to only be sold online on their website, but definitely check out Ulta because it's one of my fave high-end brands. LA Girl Strobe Light Highlighters are really good. This one's in the shade 90 Watt. I'm going to keep it because I think this is a really pretty highlighter for the winter coming up. I mean, it's not even fall yet, Jasmine, but still. Gotta think ahead, right? But no, this is a really good highlighter. I'm going to keep it. NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium is one of my go-tos. Like, every time somebody asks me, what's a good bronzer? I always recommend this one. I think it's awesome. They have other shades as well, but it's matte. It's perfect for contouring, so I'm definitely going to keep this. L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade Coco is one of my go-tos for contouring in the summer when I'm super tan. It's like one of the only bronzers that actually shows up because I do get pretty dark. And if you ever can't find your bronzer shade, just get your favorite powder in a really dark shade and it'll work really good. So I'm keeping this. This Koki Cushion Foundation just did not work for me. I am so done with cushion foundations. They just don't work on my skin, so I'm going to probably just give this away. Another Wet n Wild Fergie Collection Highlighter. This one is in the shade, what is this? This one is in the shade Hollywood Boulevard. They have new names now on their website, but I'm going to just give this away because I prefer the other highlighters that they have, the Mega Glow highlighting powders, more so than these. I mean, these are amazing as well. I just don't reach for them. Hard Candy Fox in a Box Blush. I used to love this. This is so old, though. I'm going to give it away because it's probably like six years old, maybe. Oof. Not good. I have the Jeffree Star highlighters. The white one is in the shade Ice Cold and the peach one is in the shade Peach Goddess. I actually really like his highlighters, but I don't like to talk about him on my channel because one time I talked about one of his lip scrubs and people attacked me in the comments, so his highlighters are really good though. I just don't want to talk about the drama on my channel. I want to just keep it, you know, fun, so... I do like the highlighters, but yeah, let's just move on. The NYX Contour Palette is one of my favorites. It's a really great drugstore contour palette. I think it's awesome for the price. I love the different shades of bronzers and the highlighters like to set underneath your eyes. I really like this palette. Milani highlighters are amazing. Keeping these for sure. I talked about these in like my favorite drugstore highlighter video. These are awesome. Maybelline Fit Me blushes are awful, to be honest. They're so chalky. They don't really show up on the skin. I'm going to be talking about this in a products that I hate makeup tutorial, but yeah, I don't like this. Tarte Shimmering Peach Blush. Honestly, I didn't even know that this was a cream product until I got it. It's a really pretty color. I love the peach, but I just don't really like cream blushes, so I'm just going to give this away. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Deep. I love these to bronze. Honestly, I haven't repurchased these in forever because there's so many good bronzers out there nowadays, but I do really like this, so I'll just keep this. ELF Healthy Glow Bronzer. This was one of my go-tos before. I really love this. This literally makes your skin look healthy and glowy and bronzy and beautiful, and this is like two dollars so i'm gonna keep this for drugstore tutorials last but not least we have a little clinique chubby foundation stick i do really like these for contouring like when i do cream highlighting and contouring so i'm gonna keep this we are done yay 
Yay! Okay, so the drawer is completely wiped out. This acrylic case that I have here is from Bed Bath & Beyond. And these are my two piles. So this pile right here to the left, I'm just gonna be giving away. I did toss a couple things, but this is all going to friends and family. And then right here on the right are things that I am keeping, which you guys will see in tutorials and stuff like that. The things that I kept are things that I genuinely feel like, you know, I'm gonna be using and that I'm gonna be rotating out. Anything that I don't use, of course, in the future, I will just continue to give it away. I don't have a problem giving things away, but I also like to keep things for makeup tutorials and such. So those are my piles. Time to put everything back in these drawers. Now I can finally open and close my drawer without having things falling all over the place. I think it looks so much better. It literally feels so good to clean things out and declutter and get rid of like nonsense makeup. So that is what the drawer is looking like. I know it's not absolutely perfect. I'm still trying to find a perfect storage method for all of my makeup. As my collection grows, I will continue to find different ways to store it. But for now, this is what I'm working with. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.